All right, so uh, Major League <laughs> Baseball playoffs get going here, Ian. You see Ian and I representing, probably uh, turning off uh, if there's any Mariners fans watching for some reason. But uh, we're both fans of the Jays, so we'll be rooting for the Jays. Yeah, so uh, it gets going here in like, what, uh, two hours' time or so. Uh, so let's rip through all these games. We have a, a money line pick for each and every single one of them. I will hit lead off with the first game of the day. I love the Guardians here at minus 120 with the Rays in town. I think that this is fantastic value. Let's get into it. Look who's on the man here for the Tampa Bay Rays. It is the Irishman, Jay McClanahan. And this guy was in the Cy Young conversation for most of the season, but hasn't returned to form since a stint on the DL in early September. Strikeout numbers are way down, just 12 and four games with eight walks to go along with a 521 ERA. So hardly dominant stuff from the Irishman. Uh, Bieber on the bump for the Guardians and Tampa is getting eviscerated by right-handed pitching. 27th in OPS versus righties over the last two weeks. That's a real concern. Those were meaningful games down the stretch of the season. And the Guardians are going to have the uh, bullpen edge in most matchups. This game is no different. Last two weeks, third in XFIP compared to Tampa at 16th, uh, plus a 285 ERA at home for the Guardians bullpen. So give me Cleveland to roll. Ian, what do you like for Cards Phillies? Yeah, I'm going to take the Philadelphia Phillies here, by the way, available at even money over at BetMGM. That's a Jamie Foxx yes, specialty there. Uh, <laughs> big reason why I like the Phillies here, uh, because the, uh, they're going to take on Jose Quintana of the Cardinals here. Uh, that should be an advantage for Philadelphia, because they rank fifth in OPS against left-handed pitchers this season at 769. Meanwhile, Zach Wheeler gets a start what? for the Phillies. And that's bad news. For the Cardinals, Cardinals OPS drops from 809 against lefties down to 728 against righties. And Zach Wheeler is a right-handed pitcher. And also, Wheeler has dominated the Cardinals this season. He's had two starts against them. And in a combined 14 innings pitched, he is allowed zero. That's right, zero earned runs and a whip of .786. And Philadelphia has just overall been the hotter team lately. That's a big reason why I like them to win this game. I like them to win this series and maybe even go on a deep run here. Dating back to, to September 1st, they outranked the Cardinals in batting average OPS and WRC+. Plus. And all three of those, the Phillies rank inside the top 10 and the Cardinals rank in the bat bottom half of the majors over the last month. So give me the Phillies even money against the Cardinals today. Yeah. Yes, sir. I like the Phillies, too. Big Bryce Harper fan over here. So let's keep uh, rolling here. Chronological order. Next game of the day, it is our Toronto Blue Jays, Ian. Uh, what are you looking at with the Mariners in town? Yeah, if you think I'm going to bet against our Toronto Blue Jays in this spot, you would be sadly mistaken, my friends. Oh. I'll take the Blue Jays, minus 136 against the Mariners here. Uh, I don't think there's been a single pitcher as hot as Alec Manoa has been over the past month. Since September 1st, he has an ERA of 0.88 and a 0.84 whip. And so pair that with the best offense in baseball over that same time frame. And I think you have a winning formula here. Blue Jays are first in OPS uh, in that same time frame, dating back to September 1st at 797. It really is that simple, my friends. You have the best pitcher over the last month paired with the best offense over the last month. That, to me, sounds like an easy bet. Uh, now, my final point, not exactly statistics-based here, but I had to come up with three points, so uh, this is my third one. Uh, Mariners might just be happy to be here. Uh, let's be honest. They do are there. They are kind of above average at a couple things. They aren't really fantastic at anything, but... Them making the postseason and breaking their playoff drought was their World Series. Now that they're here, they got to take on the big boys. I think they're going to fall flat. So give me the Blue Jays minus 136 uh, in the first game of the series. <gasps> yes, sir. All right. I will bring it home for us. The final game of the day. We got the Padres. Uh... Taking on uh, the Mets. I'm jumping all over the Mets here at minus 150. By the way, that line available over at BetMGM, the best Whoa. line out of a handful of different sports books that I looked at. So uh, the Jamie Foxx special. Uh, so Mets minus 150. You Darvish on the man for the Padres. And quite simply, 
This man cannot be trusted in the playoffs. A 518 career ERA in the playoffs and 33 innings of work. And this Mets lineup isn't a good team to improve that ERA against. Second in OPS versus righties over the last two weeks. Max Scherzer on the mound. Going to earn that money tonight. One or fewer earned runs in five straight at home. He has a 167 ERA at home this season. He's totally eviscerated Manny Machado, by the way. Machado has a 496 OPS and 50 at-bats. Scherzer, that is god-awful. And elite stuff from the Mets bullpen. Get the trumpets out. First and next fifth over the last two weeks. San Diego way down there at 19. So I think a great number on the Mets here. Minus 150. There you have it. Ian and I in and out with the 